Hey there, what's the difference between a kitchen and a pro kitchen? I know you need to know. Welcome to another interior design tips video. Today I want to dive into the world of pro kitchens. It's not just all about stainless steel appliances because that's what's happening in everyday kitchens. It's a little more involved, a little more professional. It's more like your regular kitchen on steroids. If you're wanting a pro kitchen, you're wanting a kitchen where people like Jamie Oliver or Ina Garten would feel perfectly at home in your kitchen. That's the level of kitchen I'm talking about when I talk about a true pro kitchen. So what makes a pro kitchen so different from a regular kitchen? Let's discuss. The biggest influence of today's pro kitchen has been actual commercial kitchens, especially as open kitchen restaurants have become more and more prevalent. We love seeing all the activity going on in the kitchen. A well-run restaurant kitchen is all about organized chaos as well as all the amazing appliances. The other huge influence are celebrity chefs, especially those on the very popular food networks. From Martha Stewart to Bobby Flay to the Barefoot Contessa herself, I love you, Ina. We've all come to know these celebrity chefs and they've opened up the culinary world to us everyday chefs. So those are the top two reasons for the popularity of a pro kitchen, but it actually goes even further than that. If you're the type of person that loves immersing yourself in the act of cooking, even more than just eating great food, then you're the perfect person for a pro kitchen. Imagine having Gordon Ramsay come over and be a guest chef in your home and imagine him being perfectly happy and at ease. Okay, that's a little hard to imagine him being perfectly happy, but if that's the case, then you've got yourself a pro kitchen. The full culinary experience from a professional chef's point of view goes beyond a stove, an oven, and a microwave. That's just the beginning. Griddles, barbecue grills, a warming drawer or two, a broiler, a deep fryer, countertop steamers, smokers, dual range ovens, an induction cooktop, and the list goes on. Frankly, I'd be a pro pizza chef, so a pizza oven would be a must. And two is better than one. Many pro kitchens will have double what a normal kitchen has. Two islands, two sinks, two dishwashers, two refrigerators. You get the picture. A pro chef needs a full complement of appliances to create the most elaborate meals. Remember, they're not just foodies, they love the act of cooking, not just the eating part. Let's consider Gordon Ramsay's home kitchen. It might as well be a commercial kitchen in one of his restaurants. I'm especially loving that huge stainless steel island. I mean, that's a whole kitchen on its own. Okay, I know I've already talked about two key aspects of a pro kitchen, their influences and the full culinary experience, but technically these two things are really what a pro kitchen is all about. BTUs and CFMs. A BTU, also known as the British Thermal Unit, is a unit of measurement. It's defined as the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit, technically at sea level. And CFM stands for cubic feet per minute, and it measures the volume of air that needs to be moved out to keep your kitchen well ventilated. An exhaust fan over top of the cooktop that is well-sized will help eliminate fumes, smoke, and odors while you're cooking. The higher the BTUs, the higher your CFM calculation needs to be. Where normal residential gas stove ranges offer anywhere from 600 to 1,000 BTUs, a pro chef would look for ranges that offer up to 24,000 BTUs. Obviously, as a pro chef, you'll want appliances that provide a large amount of energy, or heat in this case, so that you can work faster and get things heated faster. Turning to your ventilation, a normal range would require about 240 CFMs a 30 inch gas range with a griddle option might require about 600 CFMs. There's just more smoke. But if you have a barbecue grill incorporated into your range, then 1200 CFMs would be best. But make sure to check with your appliance manufacturer and local bylaws for best practices. So basically commercial grade appliances are definitely key to upgrading a regular kitchen, even a really great gourmet kitchen to a pro kitchen. Commercial grade appliances are often oversized and basic in aesthetics. They're meant to be durable, cleanable, and powerful. 
So even though many manufacturers are creating appliances that look more like their professional counterparts, a pro kitchen isn't about aesthetics when it comes to appliances. Pro chefs want performance above all else. With commercial grade appliances, you'll need to take into consideration safety, including electrical requirements for the appliances. Make sure you check with an electrician as well as the manufacturer's specifications, as the electrical consumption would be much larger than a regular kitchen appliance. You'll also need to take into account the materials around your appliances, especially wherever there is an open flame. The combustibility of materials nearby is super important. That's why countertops and upper cabinets need to be either non-combustible materials or they need to be kept at a certain distance from the flames. All of this needs to be considered when you're designing any kitchen, but in a pro kitchen, these special safety measures are even more important because these appliances are so much more powerful. Always check with your local building codes to ensure you are creating a safe pro kitchen. What are non-combustible materials? Great options for countertops are stainless steel, granite, or quartz. They all withstand heat very well. Backsplashes should be stainless steel, ceramic tiles, or clay tiles. I've talked about the distances between surfaces in kitchens in several videos. I'll link them below. A big part of designing a great kitchen is to pay close attention to minimum standards between the perimeter of a kitchen and the island. These clearance distances are important for efficiency of travel between key areas in any kitchen, especially within that all important working triangle, which is the distance between the stove, the fridge and the sink. But in a pro kitchen, these clearances tend to be wider, more spacious. You want to allow more space because the appliances are larger and more robust. So in many cases, that means the doors for these appliances may require more space to open. Where a typical kitchen aisle width is 36 inches, a pro kitchen would increase aisle widths to about 48 inches. Also, a pro kitchen takes into account the possibility of having more than one person cooking at the same time. Remember, Chef Ramsay is coming over. He's on grill duty. Are you enjoying this video? Then go ahead and hit that like button, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below if you're the everyday chef that would love a pro kitchen. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Most of us want lots of storage, and that's true for pro chefs too. I mean, if you think you have lots of kitchen stuff, imagine how much Martha Stewart has. But a pro kitchen is focused on the act of cooking, so everything must be within arm's reach. Theoretically, of course. Most commercial kitchens have lots of open storage. Closed storage is relegated to a large pantry type of storage or storage room. But pots and pans, plates and platters are all stored on open shelves. This makes it easy to see what you need and easy to access. You'll see lots of hanging pots and open shelves above and below countertops. Again, stainless steel comes in handy as it can easily be wiped clean. Just look at Chef Ramsay's hanging pots. Or Ina Garten's kitchen in her Paris home. Now I know I'm going to get tons of comments about how unsanitary it is to have things out in the open and that dust settles on everything. But remember, we're talking about pro chefs. They're in the kitchen all the time using everything in their sight. So there's no time for dust to settle. Got it? We've touched on surfaces a little already, the most important being the countertop, of course. Countertops should be granite or quartz because they are all easily cleanable, stain resistant, and can withstand hot pots and pans. Marble countertops are a designer favorite, and although they can withstand heat, they are very porous and can easily stain. But if you're the kind of pro chef that cleans as you cook, you might be okay with marble. But also, if you do a lot of baking, marble is great for rolling dough and pastry. Generally, stainless steel is a pro kitchen favorite because it can be easily wiped down, it can withstand large temperature fluctuations, it doesn't burn or rust, and as the name suggests, it doesn't stain. It can also be molded to avoid seams where food might otherwise collect, like between countertop and backsplash. For an ideal setup, a pro kitchen would have stainless steel countertops with a butcher block island top and a section of marble for baking. The best of all worlds. 
The other important surface you need to focus on is the flooring. A pro kitchen needs flooring that is safe and comfortable and durable. Consider wood flooring for comfort instead of tiles. A pro chef spends a lot of time in the kitchen on their feet, so comfort is really important. If you've got tile flooring, rubber mats or rugs can add that extra bit of cushion while you stand and constantly stir your simmering risotto forever. Large sinks and large faucets go together. A deep stainless steel sink is the best way to go instead of those double sinks. They're better for washing up big pasta pots. And faucets must have a pull-out faucet for spraying and hands-free faucets are a great feature too. Keeps things cleaner all around. Instant hot water faucets are also quite popular. And most pro kitchens will actually have more than one sink. A prep sink near your food prep station, perfect for washing up veggies before you chop, and a second sink in a different area of the kitchen away from the action for dirty dishes and cleanup. This large sink is actually big enough for two tall faucets. A pot filler above your cooktop is also a great idea so you don't have to lug that large pasta pot full of water over to the stove. Super handy. And then there are the knives. Let me just illustrate how important knives are to pro chefs. I love this quote from Iron Chef Morimoto. Japanese chefs believe our soul goes into our knives once we start using them. You wouldn't put your soul in a dishwasher. See what I mean? Exactly. Being able to store, see, and access kitchen knives in a pro kitchen is pretty darn important. So whether it's on a magnetic strip mounted to the wall, or perfectly organized in a drawer, the idea is all about visibility and easy access. Cutting surfaces like a butcher block is important too, as they keep knives sharper for longer. And because there's lots of chopping and cutting happening all the time in a pro kitchen, having an area dedicated to knife skills is a must. Or you can have multiple cutting boards of different materials and sizes. From wood to plastic to rubber, the pro kitchen should have its very own dedicated food prep station, and that station must have cutting boards ready to go. Make sure it's somewhere near a sink so you can wash and get chopping right away. And finally, I'm not sure if the Food Network is the goal for all pro chefs, but there's a lot of performance and entertaining that goes into putting a culinary feast together. What good is your love of cooking if you can't share it with others? In this kitchen, seating at the island is set at dining height, about 30 inches above the floor, while the work surface of the island is at a standard counter height, 36 inches above the floor. But in a real pro chef's kitchen, you'll want to maximize that kitchen island work surface. So consider eliminating the change in counter height and include seating at counter height. Bobby Flay's kitchen has you up close and personal. And Ina Garten has her guests mill about in her gorgeous Hamptons home with simple stools at the island too. She also has a jar full of antique spoons on her island countertop that she uses as her tasting spoons. I mean, she's such a pro. So if the chef is the star of the show, the pro kitchen is definitely the stage. So here's your takeaway. A pro kitchen is focused on the act of cooking and a celebration of that culinary experience. It's about having all the professional fittings of a commercial kitchen in your very own home. And it's definitely not just about stainless steel appliances. From special materials to dedicated zones to powerful tools at your fingertips, a pro kitchen is methodical, efficient, and performative above all else. Thanks for watching this little design tip. I'll have lots more design tips just like this one coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so you don't miss the next video. We've got new videos every week. Go ahead and watch all the other kitchen design videos. I've listed them below. Head over to my Patreon page to help support this channel. I've got lots of tiers, including some personalized virtual design advice if that's what you need. And a big shout out to my patrons. And as always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It helps to grow this channel. See you soon.